For the first big cook in the Camp Chef Double XL Pro Vertical Pellet Smoker, we have got a huge load of summer sausages going into this thing. And we're going to answer your three main questions. Will they fit hanging up? Do you get enough smoke? And how even are the temperatures inside this chamber? Hit that subscribe button down there. Check this out. For all the other features and specs in the Camp Chef Double XL Pro Smoker, check out the link in the cards up there to the complete review video, which has all of the interior dimensions and pretty much all of the specification questions you could ask that you might not find on the website. All right, we are ready to hang these sausages up. And for the record, yes, I fold the bottom drip pan for easier cleanup later. Now these are full-size chubs, a couple of them. I made them all the way full 24 inch length just to show you guys how they fit. Then I made the others a little shorter. So I'm going to put these kind of in the middle. That'll make them hang. And look how much room you got at the bottom there. There's at least a couple inches clear. It's not bad. All I did was I tied that big long loop a little bit shorter to give those things a little bit more room. And look at that. This one and this one are full size 24 inch long summer sausage casings. And they fit great. For this cook, I'm going to use four of the Tappy-Q Air Probe 3 probes. These have a probe for the meat on one end and a probe for the chamber on the other. So I'm going to be able to monitor four different locations of the chamber temperature with these plus the main heat probe in the Camp Chef Double XL Pro. So here's the four cooker locations we got. Top front, bottom front on the right, and both of them on the top on the left. Plus there's the temperature probe back there for the Camp Chef Double XL Pro. I'm also going to use the two wired probes that the Camp Chef Double XL Probe came with to monitor those two chubs there. Get everything inside space pretty even. We'll let this test begin. We got a good and fired up now. We got the smoke on 10, temperature set at 150. And as usual, we're going to let this thing get lit and fully fired up before we close the door. I just wanted to get all the sausages arranged without having to fight that heat. All right, we got the TAPQ air probes all set up, and check this out. I've actually got some pretty cool data already in this cook. I forgot to charge up one of the air probes, so it's in there doing absolutely nothing. That's my fault. But look at this. We've got within a 9-degree temperature spread across that whole box. That's not bad at all. Y'all, look here. i got to show you this. I know if you're looking, you ain't cooking, but check this out. They are looking beautiful and getting real close on a couple of them. Don't tell me a pellet grill can't give you smoke. I haven't even used the smoke drawer on this thing yet. And it's been smoking like this pretty constantly. Nice thin blue line, exactly what you're looking for from a smoker. Now let me show you something about this thing. I started out fairly low on pellets. This thing hasn't used, I don't know, not even a quart worth of pellets in the time it's been running. Maybe a little more than a quart worth. But it is extremely efficient. It's been going now for about, I don't know, five, six hours. I started this cook very late in the day, so it's going to be dark by the time this stuff's finished, I'm quite sure. We got a good 30 to 40 degrees left to go before the first of these chubs come off, so I'll show you the pictures afterwards once we get them in the ice bath and hung up. So there's the finished product right there. They came out absolutely fantastic. As usual in a chamber cooker, they all came off at slightly different times, but probably all of them were ready within about 15 to 30 minutes of each other. These sausages have been chilling out in the refrigerator for about a week, letting all those flavors and smoke flavor meld together. So let's slice one of them up and see how it looks and tastes. Moment of truth. Man, look at that. You can see that probe hole in there. Other than that, those sausages are perfectly cooked all the way through. When you're cooking summer sausage, the goal is to have the interior of the sausage cooked the same as the exterior of the sausage. It should be cooked all the way through evenly. Check that out. No more on the outside than the inside. Now for the ultimate test. Peel that case off, let you look at this. There's the outside edge of the sausage. You can tell the inside is done perfectly the same all the way through. Moist. That freaking Camp Chef Double XL Pro did a great job and plenty of smoke flavor throughout very nice links to everything used in this video are in the description below we've got a couple of other really big cooks coming up with the camp chef double xl pro vertical pellet smoker including a huge load of deer jerky and six spatchcock chickens all cooked at once 
Don't forget the complete review video up there in the cards on this awesome smoker. Now give me that thumbs up like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down there if you're not already subscribed and hit the bell icon so you get notified of videos like this one. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.